it in old New Welcome back friends. So the first thing we're going to do is some chopping. So since vegetables are good for you, I'm going to use some broccoli and for the spicy part, I'm going to use some red chili peppers. And what a spice, I'm going to use some garlic as well. So as usual, you just want to smash the garlic with the back of your knife using your weight, peel off the skin and then make some nice beautiful cuts and chop the garlic into small pieces. Personally, I'll use as much garlic as you can because a wise man once said, when life gives you lemons, it's actually supposed to be garlic. So next for your chilies, how you want to prepare them is basically you want to cut the stems and split them down the middle. And if you didn't know, the spiciness in chilies actually come from the inside, which are the veins and the seeds, and not much from the chili itself. So for this recipe, since I'm using two chilies, I'm going to remove the seeds from one of them and leave the seeds in for the other. So then I'm just going to slice it down and cut them into smaller pieces. So you want to cut your chilli into smaller pieces because you don't really want a mouthful of chilli when you eat. And if you like it more spicy, you can add in more chilies and leave in the seeds as well. So next for your broccoli, you just want to rotate them and cut off the florets. So once you've cut off all your florets, you just want to cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces. So next, it's time to make your stir fry sauce. So you want to combine some oyster sauce, some fish sauce, don't ask me why it comes out like that, some soy sauce, and just a touch of honey. And if you don't have honey, you can use sugar as well. And then you just want to mix it all together until it's well combined. And then you want to get your tuna. And the reason why I'm using tuna for this recipe is because tuna is relatively cheap and is a pretty good source of protein on its own. So you just want to get your tuna out of the can and drain it. And that's pretty much all you need to do. So next, once you have all the ingredients, it's time to start the stir fry. So in a pan, you want to heat up some vegetable oil. Then you want to add in your garlic, your chili and your broccoli. Then you just want to stir fry everything all together until it's nice and softened. The way to quicken that is add just a touch of water into the pan to basically steam and stir fry at the same time. So next you want to add in your rice. Ideally if you have rice that's a day old that would be perfect because the structure of the rice actually holds up in the stir fry and doesn't turn to mush. Next. You want to add in your stir fry sauce and then mix everything until it's well combined. Make sure you get every grain of rice nice and coated in that stir fry sauce. Next, you want to add in your tuna and then mix that in as well. So once everything is nice and combined, you then want to start seasoning it the right way. So some pepper. And to enhance the garlic flavor, I added some garlic powder. And if you didn't notice, I didn't add some salt. And the reason why is because my tuna itself came in some brine, which is pretty salty itself. So once everything is nicely mixed through, that's pretty much your fried rice done. But wait, wouldn't it be nice to have a nice sunny side up egg with it? Well, I've got you covered. 